God damn. No one's gonna be able to ID her looking like this. Real sick SOB. Ah, what in the f <laughs> Hey! You can't be here! Go! Go! I've been working on a new piece. I got it in the break room. <laughs> well, okay. I got the BFTW to the back of her head just perfect. And wait, do you see the blood? It's still dripping wet. <laughs> BFTW. Blunt force trauma wound. This is from my Bundy series. I really like how the blood looks coagulated. Thank you. I need it out of honey and red food coloring. It's edible. <laughs> oh. Well, he just killed all the coeds, you know? So it's a coed yeah, I murder see that. scene. Oh, yeah. Well, really it makes me think I should have went to college. You could have been an artist. I could have met Bundy. Oh, I I'm on a break from college, a permanent break on account of the vandalism. I thought I made some good artistic choices considering the uncomfortable circumstances. The dean disagreed. Now I work here. <laughs> Darla and I bonded over our love of true crime and, and serial killers. I really wanted to be a hairdresser. Then I got pregnant in high school and well, now I just make these dioramas. I don't sell them or anything. I just keep them on a shelf at home in the garage. But Maggie likes them, so that's pretty neat. We call ourselves the serial killers because we work the morning shift together. <laughs> Welcome to Bob's Bargain Bonanza. We have everything. Need a hat? <gasps> we got that. How about a stone? <gasps> we got you, doll. Oven mitts. <gasps> You'll get a lickety split if you come on down to Bob's Bargain Bonanza. We got the hottest discount fashions that'll make you look really cool. Literally. the BBB, where Barb's hottest fashions are almost free! We could put red food coloring in it. Make it look like murderos. Oh, yeah, we could. Murderos. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm a little scared to eat them now. Spell serial killers' names with them. Like oh, yeah. murder. I think I may have misplaced my wallet in here somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's track it down. Uh, what'd you come here for today? Uh, I needed a new pair of slacks, mm -hmm. and I was looking for a birthday gift from my, uh, a good friend of mine. Oh, that 
that's sweet. Uh, okay, well, maybe we could start over there in the pants section and then we could look over in the bath soaps. What color was your wallet? Pink. Oh, <laughs> got it. I don't think it's with the bath soaps. Is this it? Yes, thank you. Oh, she was getting a present for her dog. I, I didn't know that she had a dog. She doesn't. Hey! I got shots. Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah. This one's called the time machine. It makes you feel like you're 17 again. There's two of them. Yep, that's exactly right. You go, woo, woo, and back around. Woo! Then back around. Woo! Go left. left. I'm not sure. Left. I'm not sure if. Left. I can't see. Isolate. How do you... Yeah. Then you're gonna turn around, clap twice, half the wormhole, you half the wormhole. Put your arms on your hips. Okay. okay. Now just pretend like you're a chicken. But that's this way. Ooh. We'll get another round, please. What? Daddy didn't show you how to play? Excuse me. Do you happen to know if the owner's around? Because I saw that beautiful picture of the cat on the wall, and I was wondering if it's if if you know if it's a rag doll or a Persian. Because I have a cat that looks an awful lot like that one at home that I um that I I found. I, I trapped the cat, but it needed to be saved, and now it's happy at home with me. I named it Moose. Maybe don't tell the owner. I was reading about this murder. They found this woman's body inside a tree trunk, stuffed all the way inside it. Because her body was found on an English lord's property, it could have been a lord. I made a new playing card for my collection. Ooh, high class murder. I've been working on a new diorama for Patty Hearst. I always wonder if she was really in on it. Either way, what a lucky lady. Hey, turn it up! 25-year-old waitress Jenny Jacobson was last seen leaving the Bolarama Wednesday evening. If you have any information on her whereabouts, please contact local authorities immediately. I'm Linda Wilkins, and this is Channel 7 at 7. Well, I know you two oh. were close, so if you, they need a shoulder to cry on. Could you? She's probably just with some boy. Could you just get away from me, please? Oh, yeah, that's great, too, yeah. Okay. I hope she's okay. We used to play dolls together. Darling, the first 48 hours are the most important to any investigation, and they are almost up. Bolorama. Mm -hmm. I lost my virginity to whip it by Diva in the utility closet there. Wait, isn't Lizzie Jenkins still missing? I don't know. Rachel Dennis told me at that nail salon that she thought she saw her in Twin Falls a few months ago. Probably just got out of this sinkhole. Rented a convertible. Took off for the coast. Hair blowing in the wind. 
We should be happy for her. To Lizzie Jenkins. <laughs> Oh, you have to talk to him, Max. Oh, gee, I wouldn't know what to say. He's got to do something like this. Hey, Reggie! Play my song! This goes on. We do not drink. Uh oh, here comes trouble. So you girls uh, ready to go? <laughs> They're, they're fine, sweetheart, when you left yeah. them an hour ago. Oh, hey, you guys were at the scene earlier today. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Liam O'Brien. I'm a cadet at the police academy. I just started my training there. They got, they got us climbing over these walls. I didn't make it over on my first try, but lucky number 17. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't, I don't know her. I, I mean, I, I, I've never met her. I, I mean, I, I've seen her around and all, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm new here. It's just for the training. But... Hey, you guys, you guys don't know her name, do you? Are you looking for a place to belong? A place where you can find meaning in your life every Sunday. A place where you can pray away your sins from every other day in the week. Welcome to St. John's the Redeemer Lutheran Church. Hi, I'm Pastor John. I've been leading this congregation for 15 years. I know, can you believe it? People always ask me, Pastor John, how do you look so young? I say faith in the good Lord, bathe in holy water, and a good Lutheran dentist who you can meet right here when you join us at St. John Redeemer's Lutheran Church, where you belong. take a second to extend our thoughts and prayers to the Jacobson family in their time of need. Believe. Believe that God has a plan and that he takes care of his children. Amen. Amen. Ethelyn made her signature hot dish again. You know, she stole this recipe from me. God, it's so good. What are your regrets? Playing soccer with Eric and Pastor John. I don't think I've ever seen that dress before. Oh, um, I didn't, I didn't know what to wear. I, I just, I didn't know who was gonna be here. So I am. Um... I think you look beautiful, Mags. And you know what? With your perfect little face, no one's gonna be able to look anywhere else. Hi, girls. 
<laughs> Whoa, Maggie, you're putting us all to shame in that pretty party dress of yours. Take some of that. Mm. I think all these kids are gonna kill me today, Darla. This is it. This is the day that they finally wear me out. Jesus Christ, Eric, go keep looking after them. Someone's gonna call the GD social services on us. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> well, it's my that. parking spot, so I'll, t I'll just tell them flat out next time, you know? What about you? Are you okay? I mean, it just must be so hard having to watch your ex-wife Linda on the TV all the live long day. Excuse me for a moment. You know, they're just, they're just wild. Yeah, very wild. I know, they break every So, Darla, how's Matthew? Oh, they, all the kids are great, you know, just causing trouble. So darn big now. What is he, 15? Yep. Reminds me a lot of me at that age. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was just yesterday you were pregnant with him. Please help yourself to dessert. A little while ago I heard another APB out on that missing girl Jenny, don't you know? Darla, I think it's starting to get serious. Oh gosh, Jenny's a real MG. I thought she just, you know, rented a convertible and took off for the coast. Hair blowing in the wind, singing out loud to the radio. Spectacular pie, Darla. <gasps> You've really outdone yourself this time. Thanks, George. Who's this little bird? I don't think I've met you before. I'm Maggie. Pleasure is mine. Mm -hmm. Couldn't help but overhear you talking about that missing girl. She was a pretty little thing. Yeah. Worked for me at the Bolorama. Yeah. You know, I can't believe that was the last place she was seen. Yeah, you know, she was two years ahead of me in school. Yeah. Oh, right. The brunette. I think I know her, pa uh, Catherine Thompson's niece. When someone goes missing and it's a friend of a friend of a friend of your second cousin's sister's friend, well, you almost feel like it's happening to you. Mom won't let me go outside. friends with Darla, aren't you? Um, yeah. Hmm. Just, uh, you know, I saw you two dancing at the bar the other night. Oh, Darla loves to dance. Funny. I don't think I've ever seen her dance with Eric like that. You know, I didn't even know she had those moves. Trust me, Darla knows every move in the book. Don't you know they found Jenny? They found her body. I don't know if you're ready for this. It was pretty, it was pretty gruesome. But she was an MSWPTTF. Multiple stab wounds, possibly to... Matthew, Wayne, Kyle, I swear to God, I hear one more noise. There's no nuggets for a month. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this for tonight. Copy.
You got a 404 buddy in the woods. Copy, copy. Buddy in the grave. Oh yeah, I'm solving the case. I'm on it. Hey, Darla. How are you? Hi, Meg. Did you, um, did you hear about Jenny? Yeah. I heard. Shoot, I, I gotta go. Should we go to see you next Tuesdays? Darla and I were sweethearts in high school and she's really been helping me out since the divorce. Uh, anyway, it's a travesty what happened to that poor girl. I mean, people don't turn up around these parts like that. It's good for lock sales though. Maybe teach my ex-wife Linda a lesson. She never wanted to lock the doors. I walked in on her with Cassidy Mitchell's face between her legs. I mean, it's pretty sexy, but also incredibly heartbreaking. I ended up throwing her sewing machine through the window. Back for more, huh? one body right now, but the three signs of a serial killer are setting fires, killing animals, and wetting the bed. Ah! Oh, a drama. Sorry, there are, there are four, there are four signs. I think he tied her up something like this. Who do you think killed her? Well, let's examine the evidence. They know that she was stabbed. Right, okay. Who owns knives? And that she was physically dragged. Okay, so who owns knives and has strong hands? You know, you, you can get out of that if you if you just, if, if you go like, and then you go, huh. I don't wanna get out of it. No. Oh, help me. Oh, she's trying to kill me. Oh, I, no, I, uh, that's not, uh, I, we can cut you loose now, you know. Just, oh, it's okay. Oh, we'll just leave it for a few hours. Maggie, pizza, pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I made the kids pizzas on pitas the other day. Pizza bar at the house. Uh -huh. I want to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I think they do a dance there called the Hula. Oh, yeah, you'd be great at that. Look at my hips go. Oh, it's very, very mobile. I feel like one of those girls on a car. You know the little dolls there? Hey, George. Hey, yeah. Has there been any dead animals or fires recently? I saw my neighbor's kid Jeffrey with a bunch of stray cats the other day. I have no idea where they are now. What if it's someone we know? They said that he kept some of their hair. Good morning. What if it's Bill? He doesn't have any hair. <coughs> Nineteen seventy-two, and now found myself in a little piano bar one night. 
prettiest fella I ever saw was tinkling the ivories. First time I ever heard Piano Concerto 21 by Mozart. And he makes me play it for him every Sunday. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm Lars. <laughs> Met this fella five years ago. Nimblest fingers I'd ever seen. He says he's 29, but I'm pegging him more at 35. Fuck. Still half as old as you, you old son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm only with him for his money, because obviously he's going to die soon. <laughs> I call him my Pino Lars, because he gets better with age. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. You're... That's horrible. <laughs> Breaking news. No, I don't, um, breaking news. Maybe more mournful, perhaps? <laughs> breaking news. No, I don't like that one. Breaking news. I like that one. That one had more urgency. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. There's another missing girl. Sarah Michaels, another brunette. Let me tell you, there's a connection there. I know it's tragic, John, but it's also really good for business. Do you think Dateline will come? Oh, my God. I love Keith Morrison. Hi. You're cute. You knew? She's cute. She's real cute. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're moving. We're going. All right. In five, four, three. Breaking news. The body of Sarah Michaels has been found. It's a tragedy. APO, <laughs> always be organized. Uh, we've got another MG, Sarah Michaels. Sort of creepy because she looks a lot like the last MG. She was on my cheer squad in high school. She's really nice. I hope we find her. As you can see, this is just your commonplace leaf that you might use in an arts and crafts project or uh, you might jump into in the autumn. You can tell by the texture and yes, the taste. Most people do not go out of their way to taste. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Most people don't look around and see what's right in front of them every day of their lives. Most people don't, they're oblivious. Ted Bundy only killed girls with long, dark hair, and then he... their bodies after they were dead. Darla, I don't want to assume, but I'm starting to think that these are connected. What? Kyle! Hey! Don't lick that! I don't know, you're grossing mummy out! Yeah, I don't care if Matthew dares you to do it, don't lick it. He's 15, he's angry. And let... you know, you know the slide rule. I know there are only two MGs right now, but nobody's talking about the OG MG, Lizzie Jenkins, and she had long dark hair too. On the APB last night, they said that Sarah Michaels was last seen on the same strip as the dairy dip where Jenny Jacobson went missing. Was it the Bolarama? Well, you betcha. Oh gosh. That's where all those truckers hang out. Those big, burly, oh gosh, they could choke you, truckers hang out. And the police are victim blaming. They're calling Sarah a troubled youth, saying she just ran away. She wouldn't run away, she was a cheerleader. Don't you dare stick your tongue out at me. I'll cut it off. Darla, I think we have our very own serial killer. <gasps> Come on down to the dairy dip. We got every kind of soft serve you can imagine. Vanilla. Chocolate, strawberry, you want to swirl it? Swirl we can. So good, you can take two at a time. Mmm, variety. Whatever flavor you're into, dip and dip at, at the, the dairy, dairy dip. dip. Since the police 
aren't taking our hypothesis seriously, we've decided to take matters into our own hands. So today, Darla and I are going around town investigating potential witnesses and suspects. We brought lemon bars. Can you open the tin foil? Oh, you want to see them? Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it, look oh, it. Oh, they're look so it. good. It's like a pie crust that you make with flour and shortening, and then you kind of put like a pie fill, and it's lemon and sugar and, oh. you know, in the middle, and then you kind of just with a little powdered sugar. It's so good, it's my favorite. <laughs> Maggie's favorite. Real sorry to hear about your niece, Jenny Jacobson. Yeah, she was a sweet baby angel, but she ran with a fast crowd. Moved a bit too quickly with the boys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sounds like she was a good time. <gasps> it's so full. Blessed be the fullness God provides in a blowout. Blessed be the blowout. Blessed be the blowout. I love coming to visit Catherine. Got a medicine cabinet stocked better than the county pharmacy. She's a good-looking gal, isn't she? You got a boyfriend? Um, you own the Dairy Dip in the Bolarama, don't you, Mr. Lind? Yep. It's the darndest thing, though. Both those girls weren't even working for me the night they went missing. I guess they just came in for the specials. We got Wing Wednesday, Kill the Keg Friday, Single Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him or anything. I'm I'm usually out of there by 9 p.m. I look good lemon bars. Tastes just like my wife's. So then you obviously know what's going to happen if you lose. Oh, sure. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, Maggie, Darla, meet the Bonds. Didn't know you had company at Ethel. I didn't know that you'd be here. <laughs> hey, you gals want to stick around? Play some pool or whatever? I, I, I don't. Oh, Robert. Yeah. They're very Just good. Put this one on top, maybe nobody will notice. Hopefully. That was weird. Oh yeah. I was out walking my cats. It was about 1.15 in the morning. Tiddlywings. Likes to play with the beer cans in the parking lot of the Bolarama. Not Roger. He's lethargic and on antidepressants. Now, I told the police I saw a girl with long, dark hair get into a green Jeep. They told me that with my cataracts, that it would be impossible for me to see that far. But I know it was green because Mr. Tiddlywinks only hisses at things that are green. Wait, so you're saying that this girl, she just got in his car, like, voluntarily? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Breaking news. Turn the it up. of Elizabeth Jenkins has been found. Jenkins was reported missing almost a year ago today. The tragic end to a tragic life. And next, sports with Ken. Oh, well, uh, hiya, gang. How you doing? Are, are you looking for Darla? Yeah, she's not here. She's at home with the kids, you know, Saturday. So actually, she never comes to visit me here. So I, 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 I do want a cup of coffee. We got complimentary coffee for all our customers here at Opperman's Pool Depot. Actually, you know, while I have you here, come here. Take a look at some of these cool pool toys. Look at this one. Flamingo. You know, it's a classic pool toy. Look how big it is. You can fit two, three, four, 12, not, probably not 12, but you fit a lot of people in this thing. Oh, uh, 199 noodles up the wazoo. <laughs> we got uh, this thing. It's a, you, you get it. Uh, rubber duckies, uh, goggles. 
Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make pool depot lots. That's terrible. Sometimes I like to sit here on my brakes. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, <laughs> whoop! Uh, you're not supposed to see those. Please don't tell Darla you saw that. On with the tour. Opperman's Pool Depot. I think that was a great take. I think we nailed it. Uh, do you think I could get a copy of this uh, footage for a commercial? I like that jingle. It's gonna sell me some pools. It's not about the money, but. You were supposed to smash the glass. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna smash the glass, hon. We we just got the new winter windows put in. Well, it's not scary enough unless I think I'm actually in danger, Eric. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best here, okay? Okay, we just do best. regular? Huh? I like regular? regular? No, yeah. why don't we just order Chinese food instead, huh? I like to cuddle with watch. you. Oh, God. You know what? Cuddle. It's Pathetic. Our... I'll try it again. Cuddle. I don't wanna cuddle. These girls went missing, and now she's into this thing, this role-playing game where I'm supposed to choke her and threaten her with a knife. <sighs> oh, you're more a lady of the night. Uh, oh. I'm gonna find, Oof. make sure you don't do nothing to me or... or this isn't keep... working for me. Give me oh, the knife, honey. Give it's... me the knife. Oh, all right, just be real careful. I just sharpened it, okay? Tell me what you want. I, Fine. I just, Look, I just pretend know. this is me. Okay, all right. Then you get at my neck like I got you. Are you sure? Yeah, you choke sure? my neck like that. Okay. I'm gonna get you. And then I just want you to just threaten me so I'm scared. Okay. And then, uh, uh, like that, oh, like that. Sir, sweet wedding pillow. I hate these pillows your mother gave Hi. us. Sorry. Damn it like that! Honey, See? honey, like, I get it, uh, all right? Uh, 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 I'm not, I I'm hate not it. sorry, I'm I... not gonna do that. That's right, I got you. This uh, okay, is this, this what you want? Yeah, yeah, uh, like that, like that. Okay, uh, yeah, you got okay, it? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, you think you sure. can do that? Yeah, I can do it. Okay, great, it okay, so it'll it be my right. turn now. All right. All right, okay. Flip over, honey. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, do it. I'm kind of uncomfortable doing it. No, you're All right, all right. Do it hard. I'm doing it yeah, hard. What? I'm doing it hard. Yeah. Harder? Yeah. Fine. Oh, God. That's what you want, Sunny. <coughs> Sweetheart. Sweetheart. <sighs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, God. Oh, yeah? You yeah. Like that? that was really good. I'm happy to do it. Yeah, do it again. A B O G. Always be on guard. Yeah. Oh. I am. Uh, um. Mom's still hoping I'll finish, but I, uh, I don't think I have the temperament for a collegiate experience. You know, I'm more of a hands-on kind of gal. Anywho, I have so much more going on with the case. According to my source, both bodies turned up missing chunks of hair, they were stabbed, they were beaten until they were unrecognizable, then the bodies were cleaned with bleach, and they were dragged to their final dumping spots in the woods, which is located here and here. Now, Main Street has the Bolarama and the Dairy Dip, which are located here and here, which means that the killer must live within this radius. Trick is to see who owns a green Jeep. I've got so many questions, you know? Why, why are they getting into the truck with him voluntarily? Is he nice or something? Do, do they know him? 
What's he doing with the hair? Don't you want to know? I sure do. Hmm. We're coming up on fishing season, and we've got a sale on rods. Our rods are the sturdiest rods, the longest rods you've ever seen. I know that Larry's Hardware got rods, but our rods are the best in the county. Hold our rods. Come and grip our rods. A nice grip. See that? Come on. I'll, I'll even throw in a sleeping bag. Half off. Can't get that at Larry's. Walker's Great Outdoors. The one-stop shop for all your camping needs. Police continue to deny the connection between the murders of Elizabeth Jenkins and Jenny Jacobson. They're also saying that the slayings are unrelated to Sarah Michael's disappearance. As this story rolls in, we'll be here. I'm Linda Wilkins, Channel 7 News. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. I flubbed a little bit on the second line, but we got it, right? I think it's in the can. Three missing, two bodies, and no answers. So today, Darla and I are back at our investigation. The serial killers chasing a serial killer. Darla, come on. I went to high school with Sarah. We were on cheer squad together. We weren't friends though. She told everybody I was fat. I come here a couple times a week. I love ice cream. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting my cone on. We used to call her Jittery Jenny because when she started working at the Bolorama, she kept dropping all the trays. <laughs> I used to get a kick out of her outrageous nails. It's not really my style. I prefer an understated French tip. <laughs> she never would have gotten in a car with any of these jerk faces. I think something bad happened to her. I tried to tell them after Elizabeth went missing, but they didn't believe me. I'm fairly certain that there is a reptilian in the community. See, um, reptilians are a dangerous alien species with telekinetic powers that are hell-bent on the domination of the Earth via their shape-shifting abilities. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's, um, that's different. Thank you. Thank you. I used to figure skate with Elizabeth Jenkins. She really liked pink, I really liked purple, and well, that's how we became best friends. Last time I saw her, I think we were getting ice cream at the Dairy Dip. I got a lot of sprinkles. I never saw her again. And I don't have sprinkles anymore. Last Friday, <laughs> Bolorama, Walker's Outdoors versus Larry's Hardware. Scored 275 that night. <laughs> Wiped the floor with Junior. Got so pissed off, he tossed a bucket of wings at me. <laughs> Saw that missing Michael's girl. Used to see her hanging around all the time with the other missing girl. <gasps> Looking good means feeling good. Oh my! Feel the wind in my hair. Zing, zing, zing! Oh, I'm fabulous! Single? Not for long. 
It only cost how much? Wow. Oh. Yes. Goodness me. That hair salon. The only one in town. We haven't heard any news on the case in over a week. I'm worried it's gone cold. We got a blowout. Barb would be so proud. <sighs> Have you made any new dioramas lately? I've just been real busy. Darla, go home, or I'll write you up for loitering. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get snatched. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <Ooh>, trucker! <laughs> they got big hands. Darla, what happened to your car? Do you need a lift? Ethel. Okay, I'm on raspberry vodka in my flask. Can we go get a margarita, please? See you next Tuesdays. Oh, God, look at the fox! I'm tracking them, the reptilians. Let's see, uh, scale, leaf, huh? But you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, I, I think they might have something to do with Elizabeth, uh, with those girls going missing. But no one listens to me. This town doesn't respect me. The police, they, they don't respect, the, the police don't even do their god darn jobs. Now, Elizabeth was, was missing for nearly a year. And they, 
they weren't even looking for her. Reptilians don't have much respect for humanity. <laughs> That's why I feel like I have a lot in common with them. And maybe I'm her only hope. Good hair today, Makes. Hey, God, blow out. Oh, look, Samson finds out it's his kid today. Twins, Siamese twins. They're conjoined. Oh, well. I know, but they didn't know that they were Siamese twins before. I don't know how you miss that. the regularly scheduled program of Brush with Desire for this breaking news. The police have confirmed that the Jenkins and Jacobson murders are connected. The coroner determined that the cause of death in both cases was strangulation. Each of the bodies were found similarly posed, missing chunks of hair with multiple stab wounds, rendering them unrecognizable. Unrecognizable, what kind of a... Kind of a sick pervert is gonna cut up a young woman's face. God. Ah, uh, they still have no leads on the whereabouts of the Michaels girl, and still no suspects at this time. Don't you know she probably went missing from the Bolorama, and they're gonna find her body up in the forest. We already know all this. No leads and no suspects? Lies, Darla. This is a serial killer, and the perp is someone we know. I, I don't know why they don't just dig up the whole gosh darn forest if they don't have enough evidence. Okay, dig it up. What about huh? What about dig that? it up. Dig it up. Dig it up. Excuse me, miss. Do you work here? Oh, <laughs> Yep, how, how can I help you? I was looking for a lady's hairbrush. Oh, don't you know we got a whole beauty section right in the back. I can help you if you like. What kind of brush do you use? You've got such beautiful hair. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I, um, I got a blowout today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, bye now. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. She's not going to be happy you're here. Oh. Well. Hello again, gentlemen. We don't know anything about the disappearance of Sarah Michaels. And even if we did, it's classified information, as this is an ongoing investigation. We can't confirm or deny that the disappearance is linked to, or if there are any similarities between her and the murder victims. Oh, that was nice of you. Thank you. How'd you know? Oh, raspberry jelly. My favorite. My mom and I used to get donuts after church on Sundays. She loved her Boston cream. I haven't had a donut since she passed last spring. Oh, gosh, ma'am, I am, I am so, so sorry. I am Thanks. So sorry. I think you know where the door is? 
Ma'am, you're gonna wanna take this. We got another missing girl. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I got his license plate number. His name is Richard Tylers. Why'd he take her? Oh gosh. Christine, we interviewed her. Do you think he's on to us? I'm much prettier than she is. Why'd he take her instead of me? Oh, you don't fit his demographic. He likes young girls in their 20s with long, dark hair. I could pass for my 20s. Oh, thank goodness you don't. Plus, you got the kids. The kids are gonna be a problem. Would you stop that? You're gonna blow our cover by lighting the darn bushes on fire. What you doing with the lighter anyway? I found it at the Bolorama. Wait, did you say Bolorama? What if this is the killer's lighter? <gasps> Holy <gasps> baloney! There's initials on it! Well, Donna, how long have you had this? I don't know. I, I, I was at the Bolorama parking lot and Roberta Silver was there. God, she kept shining her flashlight in my eyes. It was so blinding. It was very, very rude, but I... And then when I bent down, there was a, a green Jeep drove by, and a I just green found the light. Jeep? Oh my goodness. Darling, that could be evidence, which means that maybe, maybe this is the killer's lighter, which <gasps> means that this is probably not our guy. Huh. Well, look at that. It's very sweet. I didn't know he liked to dress up like a lady. It's very pretty. Oh, very beautiful. I, I wouldn't have expected that. No, no, I know. I'm going to have to get him to give me a lip tip. Oh, I love yeah. the glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Don't strike out with your kingpin. Bring him down to couples night at the Bowlerama. Every Friday's get you half off wings and wine with your sweetheart. <laughs> Don't have a love bug? Don't fret. We have single Saturdays for all you singles. Ready to mingle. $2 drink, so buy him that hottie. Won't cost you a lottie. <laughs> Let's make a suspect list. You do the typing, Megs. Got it. Suspect number one, George Wayne Johnson. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm on law and order. <laughs> well, this is official business, Darla. Oh God, so sad when she died. Why, you know, I didn't know that before. Okay, how about Gregory? Cute baby. Cute baby. Oh yeah, when he was little, I remember him being super cute. I babysat for him. Oh, he's a weird one. You forget about him all the time. Uh-uh, can I get a background check? Uh, Lieutenant Matthews, background check? Oh, Graham. <laughs> this one, this one you know. This one you know. So uh, your intel is very important here. Looks so tousled in that picture. Oh. Oh God, Graham is so strong, you know. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. You don't owe me so much goddamn money. No, you're gonna <laughs> owe me money. No. <laughs> oh. It is such a shame what happened to George Wayne, don't you know? He never recovered after getting hit by that semi. Oh. You know, he could have gone pro. He could have brought home the cup. They said that Tiffany was unrecognizable when he pulled her out of the car. He's a goddamn hero. <gasps> Hey up. Hey up. 
<laughs> uh, no, never saw George around uh, animals besides those those birds he watches. No. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's not true. I seen him destroy a bucket of fried chicken on Wing Wednesday. <laughs> Gregory? No. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He's very, very misunderstood. I don't even really think he likes girls that much. He's my friend. He's loyal. And he supports my dreams. To catch all the cats in the world. Just have one big, giant ball of yarn that they could play with and a huge scratching post for them to climb on. He could hunt for food and I could knit them all sweaters. We could just be happy together. Forever. <laughs> Craig Jefferson? Ferret boy? Mm, he's obsessed with me. Always creepily watching me. He sent me a taxidermy ferret for my birthday. Gross. Is that enough information for you? Or do you need to see it, Maggie? Gonna call me a liar again? Yeah, yeah, Graham has had that Jeep since he was in high school. He's a very strong and attractive member of the congregation. Mm. One time he actually helped me move a, uh, a bookshelf when his father pulled his back out ice fishing. It's actually the same day that Darla's dad shot himself on the dock. It's probably why they're so close. I always thought they'd end up together. Yeah, Graham and I went to prom together. <laughs> It was so fun. We actually got crowned king and queen. It was supposed to go to Darla, but she was no-show on account of the pregnancy. Then we went to Make Out Point after. You remember Make Out Point, don't you, Darla? I know I'm a suspect, I get it. All on account of some uh, bogus cruelty to animal charges. Those ferrets wanted to fight, okay? It wasn't like it was to the death, they could have left whenever they wanted to. There were freaking tubes leading out of the rodent ring. That's what I called it. But yeah, I ain't got girls. Heck, a girl won't even talk to me. I remember on a high school camping trip, I asked Rachel Dennis if she wanted to share a sleeping bag, you know, on account of the cold. She just screamed and called me creepy. I wasn't even being creepy. It was like three freaking degrees and all she had on was a little sheet on account of her parents being so heckin' poor they couldn't even afford a sleeping bag. That's why I gotta get out of this town. These people don't deserve me. So, we ruled out George on account of the tank. We're each gonna follow one of the suspects today and split up. We figured we could cover more ground. Like two squirrels after a ham sandwich. I have quite a collection, so I just let him borrow mine.
following me? What? No. If you were, you'd make a heck of a spy. <laughs> Got any Chardonnay? had hockey, so I, I happened to be in the neighborhood. People call me a tweeter. I've identified over a thousand birds. I, I'm out here a lot. Can't do much else on, the, on account of the tank. I took up bird watching after the accident. Couldn't go outside. Hadn't been outside in months until one day this golden wing warbler flew straight into my window. It was simultaneously the most beautiful, yet devastatingly destructive thing I had ever seen. I couldn't give up on it, you know. Nursed it back to health, but it wouldn't take. So I broke its neck, put it out of its misery. Ooh. Sprague's Pippin. Beauty. While almost being kidnapped last night, I noticed a clue. The perp had camping gear in the back of his Jeep. So since the bodies keep turning up in the woods, we figured we'd head out to the forest, take a look around. 
we thought we'd go out at night so we'd blend in more. Oh, it's kind of hard to see out here. Maybe this was a bad idea. Well, you know what? We're out here together. We're solving mysteries together. We're like the regular Cagney and Lacey. I can't believe there aren't more famous pairs of female detectives. Oh, I'd watch that show. So we think this is his dumping ground because this is where the last body was found. <gasps> Did you see her? Maggie? Maggie? Oh, oh gosh. Are you all right? Oh yeah, I think I just tri tripped on a root. It's a hand! Oh, it's not a hand. <gasps> it's a hand. We did it! We oh. found his dumping ground. Oh, 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 don't touch it, don't touch it. I think it's evidence. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Turn off your headlamps. 